Good morning. I'm here in beautiful Faustoria, Ohio, at the site of the Faustoria Plaza Shopping Complex. This is a uh, strip mall anchored by a Kmart. It currently has one tenant still in business. That's a rent-a-center. Uh, let's take a look and see uh, see what's still here. Sadly, the Kmart is now closed. I guess that's par for the course for Kmart's across the country. Looking in the window here, there's not a lot you can see. We'll go over to the side window, you'll get a view of the shelves. It's... There we go. And you can see what remains inside. Not a whole lot. I guess the last blue light special has been some time ago. There's an old computer smashed on the floor. They don't make them like that anymore, that's for sure. That's a relic. Now as I continue around past the now former Big K Mart, we'll uh, head over and see the rest of this plaza. I lied, there's actually uh, appears to be a second and potentially third business here because I missed J Nails, who is not currently open, but they do feature this very welcoming private property, no trespassing sign to make potential customers feel welcome. So there's J Nails and for lease and another one for lease and here's the Rent-A-Center. Still seems to be thriving these days thanks to their no credit option and lack of a no trespassing sign. And next door, pretty large store for lease. I wonder if that used to be a pay less. Let's take a look. Looking inside, I'm not certain, but it reminds me of a Payless. I don't know, it doesn't have all the shelves in there, so it's hard to tell. Still someone's cup of coffee, though. And here's the rest of the store. It's a big store, two or three spaces across. We'll go with Payless. If anyone knows better than me, let me know in the comments. Now there is the Faustoria Animal Clinic, which definitely appears to be open, although there are no cars in the parking lot. And this is 11 o'clock in the middle of the week. I think it's a Thursday. I lose track of time sometimes. Not sure what this used to be. Let's take a look. So this door had a handicapped button to help open the door. And inside, looks like they're working on cleaning up. Now this store is tobacco free, and since they're no longer in business, they will remain blissfully so for the foreseeable future. Looking inside, we can see some cleaning equipment and a welcome desk. And then back here, with a tile floor and a counter. I'm saying this used to be some sort of a doctor's office or a dentist's office. At least that's what it looks like to me. Doctor or dentist. They're still in the process of cleaning out some stuff maybe, I don't know. So this may have been open more recently than some of the other places here. While I've been talking, the uh, parking lot has been filling up here in front of the Rennet Center. Definitely uh, not quite peak capacity, but on their way. And we come up to the second part on the other side of the service road here. And all the signs have been turned inside out, but this one says Bakery Deli. Greeting cards. Pharmacy.
money orders. And fresh produce. Fresh cut meat. So this was a supermarket once upon a time. Let's do a little uh, exploration and see what we can find inside. No loitering. Gotta keep those loiterers out. There's the uh, theft detectors on the way out here, right by the registers. And here's some of the registers. If you're looking back, you can see all the way back to the fresh meats counter. And over and around the back. Here's the cash registers. Your community market. Here's the pharmacy counter. And some more of the store. Just going for a walk in an abandoned shopping mall. Let's see what's down the rest of the stores here and uh, hopefully it's as exciting as the rest because so far this is a winning video. I know people like exciting vlogs like this. Oh look, a mailbox. You know, stuff you don't see every day. Let's see, we're over to the uh, next store down here. Not sure what was in here, but it is definitely long gone. Every piece of this has been quite thoroughly removed. Nothing to see here. Nothing but ghosts and memories. And memories of ghosts. Memories of ghosts past. They took American Express, Visa, AARP, Pay Near Me, Discover, Medicare, Medicaid, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. So, uh, maybe a discount drug mart or something like that. The signage out front is completely gone, so it's hard to tell. As you can see, literally nothing to see here. And heading down to this end. We have another available for, for lease. Now I will say the inside of this looks much nicer than the last few places. Still has its carpeting. Tile floor down here. All the drop tiles are in. So this was a well taken care of store. And the rest of them all. Yet another empty store. Though this store took all sorts of crazy bank cards. I've heard of some of these, but Pulse, AFFNIO, that's Armed Forces. Shazam, I don't know. Nice, I haven't seen that in a long time. This sticker might go back to the 90s. That's the last time I've seen that anywhere. Yeah, I guess even with being able to use your nice card here, still doesn't draw the people in. As the parking lot does remain quite empty, with the exception of my car sitting there. Some old newspaper boxes, the Cleveland Plain Dealer and the Toledo Blade. 
that's price shop here. Plain dealer, 75 cents daily, $2 on Sundays. Use any coin combination, except pennies. And the blade, $1 daily, $2.50 on Sunday. They, looks like they raised that Sunday price. Again, no pennies, but uh, I don't know, Toledo. You're more expensive than Cleveland. So, definitely some competition here. If anyone had a pickup truck and had an interest in these, I'm sure no one would care at this point. Some historic memorabilia back when newspapers were a thing. Now I did promise you one more exciting business location and I'm not gonna deny you that. Let's go and take a look. All right, and the exciting location which that SUV is pulling away from right now clearly used to be a photo mat. How many of you remember photo mats? I know I sure do. Nowadays, any of them that exist are mostly miniature coffee stands or whatever. This one appears to be repurposed as the watershed. So check this out. You put in your money, you get fresh water, fresh drinking water, right to you. Get one of those uh, five gallon big blue bottle things and stick it in there and you get fresh water. Never seen that before, but what a neat idea. And there's, there's the top of it right there. Definitely used to be a photo mat. And now it's a water stand. I'm a little concerned that the sign says water and sewer. I wonder if there's uh, two different prices depending on what you want to fill the bottle with. A couple of abandoned outbuildings here. This one used to be an auto parts store, I believe. No more auto parts in here, but they do have this giant floor fan. Not even plugged in. And a stepladder. They might reopen one day as a stepladder and standing fan emporium. I guess they couldn't do worse than they did as an auto parts store. And there's the water stand right across the way. Some apartments. Lots of apartments. Very convenient if you live there and you like to rent things and have your nails done because those services are still available here. And there's the Kmart. All right, and we uh, reached the end of Fostoria Plaza. And here is the sign, the welcoming sign, featuring a number of businesses that are sadly long gone, and the Rena Center, which is not. So come on down and rent a couch. They can use the business. And apparently the uh, supermarket we saw is a Great Scott, which is not a uh, supermarket chain I am familiar with. It could just be a local homegrown one. Um, or if they were around up here in Northwest Ohio, um, I don't know about them. So if you do, let me know. But uh, that's all I have for today from Fostoria Plaza in beautiful Fostoria, Ohio. Um, quite the dead mall, sad to say. But uh, the rest of the town is quite lovely, so if you're in the area, do stop by and see the rest of what the town has to offer. A lot of history here. Um, including this mall, which is definitely history. All right, on that note, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you again the next time from another exciting location.